Hello guys. So by popular demand, I've decided to, to show you how I do a cappuccino, right? So, cappuccino is made with a single shot espresso and steamed milk foam, right? So, first thing, make sure that your cups are hot. Yeah, then, take the porta filter, right? Make sure it's clean, but also it's very dry. This is very, very, very important, guys. Yeah? Now, the next thing is, you know, when you're tempering, make sure it's nice and level. This is very, very important, guys. Okay, okay. So you can see, you know, it's because uh, it's gonna affect how the water it's uh, it's going through the various parts of the porta filter. That's why it has to be nice and level, right? Now I'm gonna start with flushing some water, yeah, through the to the group head. We are making sure that it is uh, clean and there are no leftovers from previous uh, previous uh, usages, right? So do this. Take one cup. Right, so, so let me put it back. Yes, then, then what we need to do is to to make the, the foam, right? Uh, very, very important stuff. The pitcher has to be cold. I usually keep it in the fridge, but it always has to be cold. And of course, use ice cold milk, right? Now, before starting using the steamer, what you may, uh, what you need to make sure it's uh, always purge the steamer right before usage. No matter what you do, like hot chocolate, whatever you want to do. In this in this way, you are also making sure it's 100% clean with no leftovers, yeah, on the tip of it from the previous usages, right? So we so we are starting. I'm starting to making the foam always clean basic stuff now now we have that nice cream very nice very nice cream you know, you have to make sure you keep the tip of uh, the steamer, you know, on the surface of the milk, because that's where the, the whipping is gonna, is gonna create the texture you're looking for, right? And then gradually lift the pitcher, just, uh, just like I did. But also make sure the temperature doesn't exceed 65 degrees. So uh, let us, uh, let us make the pour. So we make latte art, right? Final cappuccino, which is right here, guys. Yes, so that's pretty much it. This is the way I do a cappuccino.